prevail, prove more powerful than opposing forces, be victorious, All right? Righteousness will prevail. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the Hebrew, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. All right, the Heavenly Father's true name in the Hebrew, the pure language, Lashawan Kodash, is Yahweh, His Son's true name. In the pure tongue, Lashawan Kodash is Yahweh Shai. All right, Ba'ashem, which means in the name, Racha Kodash, which means Spirit Holy or the Holy Spirit. All right, righteousness will prevail. All right. You see, the scriptures tell you how the, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. But see, this is all for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's counsel. All right. When you go to the book of Isaiah, the 40, and grabbed it in a minute. I want to say Isaiah 40, uh, still the word search. And so like, yeah, I'm kind of just rolling with the spirit. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10, right? It says, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. All right, that word counsel in the Hebrew is, I, Asha, Ashaya. All right, the Yah on the end makes it possessive. From the root word Asha, all right, which means what? Counsel, advice, purpose, advice by implication, plan, prudence, the Lord's wisdom, the Lord's prudence, the Lord's plan, all right, his advice, his purpose is going to stand, meaning what he says is going to prevail. And the Lord is too pure to behold wickedness. All right, the Lord doesn't like wickedness. He hates sinners, so he hates wickedness, but for his purpose, he's allowed the wicked to be in rulership of this earth. All right, this is Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 12. Art thou not from everlasting? O Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, my power, mine holy one. We shall not die. O Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, thou hast ordained them for judgment. And Almighty oh, God, thou hast established them for correction. Thou art of pure eyes to behold evil and canst not look on iniquity. You see that? The Heavenly Father can't behold iniquity. That's why he created Satan. Okay, when you go to the book of James, right? And I'm going to come back to that Psalms. I want to touch on that Psalms. But when you go to the book of James... Is it, um, damn, what is it as the first chapter? Yeah, this is a James, the first chapter, verse 13. It says, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. All right, the most high. Yahweh Bashem Shai for Yahweh Bashem Shai cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempteth he any man. You see, the Heavenly Father doesn't do the tempting. That's what he created Satan for, all right? Now, when you go to back to Habakkuk 1 and 13, it says, Thou art of pure eyes than to behold evil, and canst not look on iniquity. With, matter of fact, let's see what else they say in uh, a different translation. And it's crazy because through the Holy Spirit, man, I was inspired to do this lesson as I was watching The Walking Dead, man. The scriptures tell you how the, the wisdom of the Lord is in everything, man. Inspiration can come from anything, anywhere. You know, Lord willing, you are edified. This is uh, NLT, but you are pure and cannot stand the sight of evil. Will you wink at their treachery? Should you be silent while the wicked swallow up people more righteous than they? Okay. So, yeah, the, the Heavenly Father is pure. He cannot behold evil. See, he, he doesn't 
do the see this is what he created the, the spirits on the left hand side for you know satan and the left-handed spirits too those are the ones that create the uh the left-handed purposes of the heavenly father all right and at the end righteousness is going to prevail and what does righteousness mean it means to prove more powerful than opposing forces all right the right hand the right side the righteous side is more powerful than the left hand side Right, this is uh, Genesis 6 and 5. And Yahweh saw that the wickedness of man, when you see God in all caps like that, that's the Hebrew word Yahweh right there. The Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of the heart was only evil continually. The scripture tells you that that which is then is now. This happened back during the time of Noah. And this, the Lord said that he's going to be coming back as in the days of Noah. He compared his second coming what would be going on in the earth, it would be comparable to the days of Noah and Sodom and Gomorrah, right? And what did the Lord say? He saw that the imag every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continue. So men were only, uh, men's deeds and their thoughts were, were wicked continually, right? And it repented, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, that he made man on the earth, and it grieved him in his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth. You see that? Both man and beast and a creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. The Lord said, I'm going I'm to I'm judge these people. I'm going to destroy them. They wicked asses, man. Why? Because they weren't being righteous. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord because Noah... I'll tell you in the next verse, verse 9. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. All right, so Noah represented the elect of that time. All right, just, which is Tazadak, all right, which means righteous. Then you got perfect, which is Tamayim. Let's look at that word, Tamayim. Tamayim, okay. Without blemish, complete, full, perfect, sincerely. See, sincere. That's why we do this. We 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 uh teach, all right. This word in truth and sincerity, right? It's all about being sincere, having integrity. You see, undefiled, upright, right? And um. I like how it says without blemish, because that's what the Lord is coming back for the elect, because the elect are not going to be people who just keep the law perfect and don't sin. No, they're, they're going to be without blemish. They're going to be blameless. All right. They're, they're going to be of a sincere hearts, man. All right. They were in this thing for the right reason. All right. So the, the root word there is is to to mom. Yeah, to mom, which. To be complete, be finished, be at an end, be finished, be completed, you know, to be complete. So this was during the time of Noah. So sin was in the earth. So, yeah, he wasn't perfect by the law, but he, he was sincere. All right. He was a just man. And just was what? Tazadak, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that means righteous. Yeah, just, lawful, righteous. So, you know, he, he he probably kept the laws to the best of his ability. Same thing we're doing. Lawful, righteous. You see, correct, lawful. You know, his his heart was in the right place. His mind was in the right His mind was after Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So the Lord spared him. All right, this is Genesis, the 18th chapter, verse 20. And Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, we're starting at uh, 19. For I know him that we, he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord. You see, follow after the ways of Yahweh Shimei Shah, like Noah did, to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of, of him. And Yahweh Shimei Shah said, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous. Look at that word. The word cry, which is za i qua za qua za qua. All right, which is uh means a shriek or outcry to outcry, cry of distress. Yeah, so the righteous was crying out, right, and then their wickedness was 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 being reported. 
because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great and because their sin is very grievousness, which is their wickedness. I will go down now and see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it, which has come unto me. And if not, I will know. Yeah, man. And, and uh, tells you in Isaiah how how basically the whole earth is going to be at peace and at rest when the devil, uh, you saw Edom gets taken down. So when, when this wicked shit is going on, man, beasts are crying out, <laughs> people are crying out in the spirit, you know, you know, life itself is, is crying out because everything has a spirit on it. All right. So the Lord sent his, his angels down there and, 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 hey, and that was a wrap from them, man. It was time to get the righteous out of there so he can bring destruction. Why? Because righteousness had to prevail in that wicked environment, man. This is a... Uh, Second Edges 15. I'm going to start at one and jump down. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, which is the Bible. Right? When you jump down to verse 16, or verse 15, I mean, uh, Salaki verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, which these are all spirits that the Lord is going to unleash in this earth. Right, these are spirits created for vengeance, for judgment, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Yeah, because the things they're doing is to fulfill, going back to what we said er earlier, to fulfill the purpose or the counsel of the Lord. You see, therefore said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. And the Lord isn't holding his tongue because his tongue represents the prophets. So that's why you're seeing all these prophets raise up all over the earth now, because we're speaking against the wickedness. Right. And now the Lord is about to act. He's about to justify and bring the thing. Well, he's already bringing the things to pass that we're saying, but he's going to bring this part to pass. All right. The, the plagues, the sword, the famine, because the famine hadn't set in yet. The death, the destruction. All right. These things are coming on a major scale. It says, neither will I, uh, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. See, the cry is reaching unto the heavenly father again. That which is then is now. And the souls of the just complain continually. This video represents uh, a complaint, you see. And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. All right, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 22. As for the mysteries of the Most High, they knew them not, neither hoped they for the wages of righteousness, nor discerned a reward for blame, blameless souls. Going back to Noah, he was just, he was blameless, right, without blemish. Right, there's a reward for these spirits, all right? You hopefully elect out here that's, that's, that's trying to seek the Lord, watching these videos, trying to get closer to the Lord, Right? The Lord said, Behold, I come quickly, and, and my reward is with me, to give every man according to his works. Verse 23, For the Most High created man to be immortal and made him an image of his own eternity. What's the image of the Lord's eternity? His image is righteousness. And that's why the law, statutes, and commandments, when followed, they produce immortality. So man, man was created to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh by following the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Which leads into, you know, eternal life. That's why the new covenant, once fulfilled, the Israelites are going to be immortals. Because we're going to have those law, statutes, and commandments within us, right? We won't be able to sin. So, therefore, because the wages of sin and death, we won't die again, all right? Israelites, Israelites only, because the new and the old covenant only pertain to the seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which are the, 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 the from the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Verse 24, nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into his, to the world, and they that hold that do hold of his side do find it. They do find death. Those that are of the flesh, those that are uh, uh, basically serving, you know, uh, idols, all right, because anything outside of Yahweh Shem is of the devil. It's of the deceiver. It's an idol. And, 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 and them, then, Scripture says, those that hate me love death, right, because idolatry is the beginning of sin. All right, pride. See, so in the end, all right, which we are in the end, 
you know, righteousness is, is going to prevail because the story is written for the elect to overcome and get the victory. Now, let's go ahead and, and get that. Oh, I, I still want to get that songs. But let's um get what I just mentioned. Because here it is right here, Revelation 12, chapter verse 11. It says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, overcame the accuser. All right, these are the Edomites, those that empowered the so-called white man. All right, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. They loved not their lives unto the death. They overcame by the word, by, by this testimony. This is the testimony. Okay. And this is how we win, by sticking to the script. You know? Go ahead to uh, Psalms 11. And this would be it. It's a short, short one, too. We're going to read through it, man. So it's a short one. It's only seven verses. Psalms 11 and 1. Psalm of David. And the Lord put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privately shoot at the upright in heart. You see the upright in heart. Not the upright in, in their action, but the upright in their spirit, in their minds. If the foundations... <laughs> so I can drop my phone. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple... The Lord's throne is in his heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked in him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. You see? Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. <laughs> yeah. For the for the righteous Lord, Yahweh Yahushua, loveth righteousness. His countenance doeth behold the upright, man. So all we have to do is stay, stay in this lane, Lord willing we do. And the Lord is going to deliver us from all our temptations and all our troubles. All right, Lord will. I don't want to write this out. All right, so Lord willing, you know, this was edifying. Right? Righteousness will prevail. Don't worry about what the wicked is doing. Don't worry about their devices, their plans, their plots, their, their, their uh, you know, what they're putting out in these, these enchantments in the media. It doesn't matter, man. All right. The truth is, you know, we the victor is already already written all right, for the righteous ones, for the for, for the elect. All right. The Lord has put this spirit on us to fulfill his will, to fulfill prophecy. And, hey, you know, we we we've been called into to a very important role of this uh, uh, story. All right. As believers. All right. So the Lord, as the Lord said, you know, um, hold fast. Get that. Get that. That's in Revelations. Uh, yeah, Revelations 2 and 25. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. Okay? And this is what we have, the truth. All right? The Holy Spirit, which was given unto us as, as a gift. All right, and this knowledge, this understanding, we need to hold fast. All right, and you hold fast by staying in, stay prayed up. All right, watching the videos, reading. All right, keep offering up righteous sacrifices. All right, hold fast till he come. All praise to Yahweh Shemiah Shalom.